Hello, friends, and welcome to episode 935 of the Juice Box Podcast. If you've been following my WeGovi diary, this is entry number three. Entry one uh, was just like this entry is going to be. Every week that I injected, I came on, talked a little bit about the previous week, did the injection, moved on. Uh, we go via diary number two was actually me talking to Erica Forsyth about the um, metaphorical empty feeling I had while on we go via. And today we're back to uh, the injection conversations. So while you're listening, please remember that nothing you hear on the juice box podcast should be considered advice, medical or otherwise. Always consult a physician before making any changes to your health care plan. If you're looking to save some money, here are three quick ways. Betterhelp.com forward slash juice box saves you 10% on your first month of therapy. Athleticgreens.com forward slash juice box gets you five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D with your first purchase of AG1 from Athletic Greens. That's a green drink that so many people talk about. I drink it every day. And the offer code juice box at checkout will save you 35% at CozyEarth.com. This episode of the Juice Box Podcast is uh, sponsored by me, Scott. I'm just here to remind you that if you're listening to this podcast and you're not using an audio app or a podcast app like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, so on and so forth, please consider getting one on your phone, downloading the podcast, subscribing and following. It's absolutely free and it's the best way to listen. I want to remind you too that there is a Facebook group for the podcast, 40,000 active users. And it's just amazing. Juice Box Podcast Type 1 Diabetes. Even though that's the name, I don't care what kind of diabetes you have. We welcome you. It doesn't matter how you eat, how you live, how you think, how you feel. You got diabetes. You love someone with diabetes. You're welcome in the group. Juice Box Podcast Type 1 Diabetes. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It is May 9th, Tuesday. Time for my one, two, three, my seventh injection of Wegovi, still on the 0.5 milligrams dose. Uh, the last week, hmm, the last week I had not a lot of weight loss, and then a little bit over the weekend to 220 pounds. 220 pounds is where I'm at now, and. I basically stayed at that weight all week, 220 in the morning, 220.2, next day 220, next day 220.4, this morning 220. So uh, how was my eating this week? Not bad. I increased the amount of food I took in. I added, um, I had some bread this week, which I didn't do the week before, and uh, I added more red meat and... I didn't lose any weight. I didn't gain any weight. I mean, I lost a couple pounds, but I mean, there was no like big weight loss. Uh, but my weight is incredibly stable. I feel great. I don't have any problems. A little bit of reflux if I eat the wrong thing. Ooh, what did that mean? Okay, two things. Um, I was at an event uh, where I spoke and I um, had a little cheesecake. I think I might have brought that up in the other one. That didn't sit well. But this week, what I really had to focus on was not eating late at night. And late at night meant after six. If I ate after six, I'd have kind of like a reflux feeling. So uh, that's it. All right. Uh, this is a, let's see, number seven. All right. So here comes injection number seven. Sticking with the belly. Working well so far. All right, I'll see you next week. Hello, everybody. I am back to do my eighth injection of Wegovi. This is the last 0.5 milligram injection. I move up to the one milligram next week. I lost 
three pounds this week. I'm 217.2 uh, this morning. And uh, BMI continues to drop slowly. Body fat dropped pretty significantly over this week, down to 31.4 from like 33, 32. Uh, my body water keeps increasing, which is good. And let's see what else is here. I am going to tell you what scale this is because I'm liking this scale. Fat-free body weight is dropping down to 149.2. Subcutaneous fat dropped from 28.7 to 27.1 this week. Visceral fat down another point from 16 to 15. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I don't know how it says protein, but that's going up. Meta and my metabolic age went down to 57. I'm almost to my actual age. Yay me. Uh, what is this thing called? It is the... Hmm. Renfo? R-E-N-P-H-O is the scale. My wife said it was like 40 bucks or something like that on the, uh, on the Amazon. All right, so I'm going to do another injection in my stomach. And um, what was this week like? Uh, still eating late at night will lead to um, like reflux. So, I mean, I'm down to like, I try not to eat after like 6 p.m. at this point. Uh, if I do, certain things are okay. Like I ate a, um, a, like a, like a small graham cracker the other day and it, it was like Kodiak. So it was all like protein thick. First of all, it didn't taste great. But secondly, um, it just sat really heavy on my stomach, but I had like a rice cracker, um, the next night and that didn't bother me. So I think the density of the food later at night has something to do with it. My hunger is is exactly the same. I don't really think about food. I have to remind myself to eat. I eat on a schedule um, or, you know, or I just won't think to eat. I'm not hydrating enough. I wish I was drinking more. I'm going to try to push myself to drink more. All my supplements I have no trouble with, vitamin D, uh, zinc, uh, digestive enzyme, things like that, all are going in no trouble, uh, sit on my stomach very well. Um, I injected like you heard in the previous recording, I was a little like steady. My weight was kind of steady last week, but I injected the Wegovy on Tuesday, woke up the next day, like 1.2 pounds lighter. Um, I right now weigh, uh, this is the lowest I've weighed since 2018. So in five years, um, I would not say that my lifestyle, I mean, I guess if you want to make eating food like part of your life, like meaning like it's super important to you. Like obviously I haven't had pizza or anything like that in the last couple of months, but I, I would say my lifestyle hasn't changed at all. I've just adapted a little bit. Um, I feel so much better having lost this weight. I'm super excited to see how I'm going to feel, you know, 15 more pounds from now, hopefully. So let's uh, get this done and then I'll let you get back to your lives. Here we go. I'm going to just move the microphone towards my Injection spot, take off the cap, and here we go, V. It's in, baby. I'll be back next week with the uh, one unit injection, or the one milligram injection. I keep saying units because of diabetes. You know that, right? See ya. Hey, it is May 23rd, and I am back to talk about my first one milligram injection of Wegovy. But before I do, let me just open up the app that came with the scale, which is working very well, I think, and tell you that I have, yep, I took my weight the first time on 328. That's March, right? March 28th. Today is May 23rd. And I have lost exactly, and I mean exactly, to the ounce, 20 pounds. Crazy. So last week, like as you heard just a second ago, not a lot happened. This week, I just, you know, stayed the course, actually went to a graduation party, had like a reasonable amount of food, um, continued to lose weight this week, added some exercise this week for the first time in the form of household chores. 
So I had a big project that I wanted to do outside. It was going to be many hours, probably by the time I got done, 20, 25 hours of moving over three days outside physical labor. I did that and I just kept losing weight. So very cool. I also recorded an episode that is up already about the kind of hollow feeling I have as I'm eating less and less and hollow meaning like, like a loss. Like I'm not, it's like, I don't have as much to do because I'm not cooking as much and shopping as much and all that stuff. If you want to hear that, it's actually with Erica Forsyth and it's episode 919. It's actually We Go V Diary 2. This will be, I think, We Go V Diary 3. Anyway, uh, things are going great. Um, I'm taking my supplements every day, vitamin D, um, magnesium oxide. I take a probiotic. I take uh, zinc. Um, that all is just going along very well. Some mornings I have a yogurt. Some mornings, many mornings, I have an egg uh, with maybe like a piece of shrimp or two, or a piece of chicken, a couple of ounces of chicken in a wrap. Uh, it's probably because of the wrap, uh, 40 carbs. Uh, middle of the day, some days I've been having like a small sandwich, salads. Um, it, you know, just, it's not a lot of food. I don't know another way to put it. Again, I'm still not hungry at all. Don't think about food. Although I did have the experience after working outside all day. Like I got up, I had an egg wrap, I went outside, I worked all day. I had grabbed a banana in the middle of the day because I felt a little like hungry, like not hungry. I felt tired like I was hungry, but I didn't have hunger. So I had a banana and I got done in the evening and I was wasted. And I was like, I had that, um, it felt like, like just released from prison hunger, you know, where I sat down, stared down and just ate, but I had like a can of like chicken soup uh, with a few saltines in it. And uh, I couldn't finish it. I was like, not I was ravenous, like head hungry, not belly hungry, which I, I think I've explained well enough already. Like I knew I needed sustenance. Because I was just like, you know, zoning from all the work. But I ate ravenously like an animal, but then couldn't get it all in. Last night, I actually had a slice of thin crust pizza went in very well. Uh, and no heartburn. That's another thing I should bring up. As time's passing, I'm not having, like I was having heartburn a couple weeks ago. Remember after the cheesecake? If that's not happening um, nearly as often or at all, maybe this week. I'm going to have to keep better track of that. I don't remember it being an issue this week. Um, I think that's about it. I'm going to do the injection. We go V one milligram. All right. Here we go V. You ready? You're like, yeah, I'm not injecting it. I don't care, Scott. Here we go. All right. Well, I'm, I can't tell you. I'm excited. This is the ninth injection I've done. Uh, 4.2s, 4.5s, now a one milligram and I, I so far could not be happier with this. The weight is still coming out of my midsection, my chest, my back, love handles, belly. Um, my arms and legs all look fairly similar. My face still hasn't thinned out much, um, which is funny because everybody talks about like Ozempic face. And I don't, I don't have that yet. Actually, I would like a little bit of it. Um, a little chubby in my face still. Hopefully some of that comes out. Um, I have no idea where this is going to go, but 20 pounds in two months is a triumph, in my opinion. It has been easy, and um, it really has changed, like, my day. Like, you know, I'm not as involved with food, even though I wasn't before. And um, somebody asked me the other day about a, uh, said, oh, you could pick that up at Wawa. It's a convenience store around here. And I said, I can't think of one thing in that store I could eat or want to eat. And that's just not like, you know, we used to get sandwiches there, like at baseball games and stuff like that and grab like chips and drinks. And, and now I think about that store and I couldn't, uh, there's nothing in there I want. Not a thing. It's amazing. Anyway, uh, Novo Nordisk makes this stuff. Thank you, Novo Nordisk. You should buy ads because I'm a fan. This next check-in comes from the patio 
of a hotel that I was staying at. It's a little noisy and it'll sound a little different, but at least I remember to do it. All right, everybody, it is Tuesday, May 30th. I'm about to take my one milligram Wegovy. Can you see that? Hmm. Anyway, I'm in Georgia. We're getting ready to pick up Arden after her freshman year of college has ended, which will just be happening in a day or so. But it's time to take my Wegovy, and uh, I thought I would tell you about it, just like I have been. So cap off. What it looks like. If I can do this with one hand, probably can. Pick up my shirt. Okay. Anyway, I don't know how much weight I've lost this week because we left on this trip. Let's see, when did we leave for this trip? Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday last week. It's Tuesday already. Really nice day here. We spent a few days with our son, and now we're here picking up Arden. And uh, can't miss my Wigovi. I can tell you that my hunger is exactly the same, which is to say none. Um, eating at restaurants, you just have to kind of be careful, pick through the menu a little bit. I've ordered some things that I haven't been able to finish, obviously. No big deal. Uh, Kelly and I have been splitting food instead of ordering our own. Um, what else? I appear to be losing weight. I feel terrific. Um, that's about it, I guess. I'm going to put this audio in with the diary that you'll be hearing on the podcast probably in about a week or so. Hey, everybody, I'm back. It's June 6th. I'm about to do my third injection of one milligram, but I'm going to tell you some kind of exciting stuff first. So as you heard a minute ago, I left my house on a Wednesday and didn't return till the following Friday. So all day Wednesday in a car, Thursday, we went to a professional baseball game with my son, saw the Braves and the Phillies play. I avoided ballpark food, but I had some grapes. Uh, more importantly, Wednesday was travel time in a restaurant. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all restaurant days. Now, I was careful not to eat fried foods or anything fatty or weird or anything like that. I felt great the whole time, but I didn't really know what was happening with my weight because obviously I wasn't weighing myself. Was getting a little more exercise, but overall I felt good the entire time. I didn't have any trouble eating in restaurants. Had to be careful, get a turkey sandwich here, have half of it, little bowl of soup, stuff like that. Anyway, I got home and weighed myself uh, on Saturday morning, and I was only up like a half a pound. I'm telling you that if I would have gone away like this without Wegovy, I would have come back five pounds heavier. But instead, no real weight change. Now, today's really my first day getting back into it, kind of slowly dripped back into life, went and saw a movie. That Spider-Verse movie is terrific, by the way. Uh, did some other things like that, uh, getting the house settled down, getting Arden moved back in. But now I'm back on it now, back on my regular schedule, back on my regular eating habits. So we're going to see what happens. But I did weigh myself this morning, and I weighed 213, let's see. Yeah, 213.8 pounds. So that is officially only 0.4 pounds heavier than my lowest weight so far. Back on 523, that's May 23rd, I was 213.4. Since then, I've got a couple of weigh-ins, 214.6, 214.8, 214.2, and today 213.8. Sorry, taking a drink. It's early here. That's a major success in my opinion. So I can't wait to see where this goes after this. Uh, But for now, I've got to do my injection. One milligram of Wegovy. Still putting it in my belly. Still have a belly to put it in. But um, actually, I'll tell you this in a second. Let me inject this first. Here we go, V.
Okay. What did I want to tell you? I saw some graffiti while I was away. And it reminded me, hold on, I'm taking off the injection thing. There we go. I held it longer. I always hold it longer than I'm supposed to, just to make sure. Uh, I saw some graffiti that reminded me of Liv from a recent After Dark episode. Liv with an E. And I took a photo to send to her. But I jumped into the picture, and my wife took the picture. And I'm I'm 100% being honest with you. It's the first photograph in maybe 15 years that I've seen myself in where I was comfortable with it. That was pretty much all I wanted to say about that. It was, it was elating to look at the picture and think, I would show this to people. And uh, then after that, I had the realization that I have at times not gotten in photos with my children and my family because of how they would look. And that was pretty heartbreaking. Anyway, um, okay, what happens now is I emailed the doctor to tell her that I've taken my third injection of one milligram. She starts the process of writing a new prescription for the step up. I don't actually remember what the step up from one is, but you'll find out soon. Um, I have one more injection of one to go, one milligram to go. And so you'll hear me again in just a second, a week from now. I hope you guys are having a great day and you're enjoying the diaries. On the next installment, I'll go over all of this, the um, different measurements that the scale makes. So like, you know, water weight, et cetera visceral fat, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I mean, you're going to hear it right now, so I probably didn't have to say it. Hey, everybody, I'm back. It is June 13th, and I am about to inject my last dose of one milligram of Wegovy. But first, let's see about the measurements. This was an interesting week. Uh, My doctor put me on an oral iron replacement so that we're trying to keep my iron from falling again. But it was too much, too significant, uh, too severe. Uh, um, But it was too much. Um, It it constipated me. I'm just going to come out and tell you that. So that kind of threw the whole week off here with Wegovy a little bit. Wasn't losing weight. I realized the iron was having the impact. I stopped it, added a little extra magnesium oxide to get things moving again. And then all of a sudden, I was like, I'm, I'm losing weight again. I'm going to lose a couple pounds this week. But then I had a sandwich. Now, I think this illuminates food choices, really. I had this feeling all day. I got up in the morning. I had a yogurt and an egg and like a little wrap. I was like, I'm going to go to the store today and get a turkey breast, and I'm going to bake it, and then I'm going to slice it up and make a small sandwich. But the day got away from me, and I was never able to do that. But I was still thinking about the sandwich at the end of the day. I was hungry. It was time for dinner. And I went to a sub shop instead and bought a six-inch turkey roast beef with a piece of cheese on a roll. And I woke up the next day like almost a pound heavier. And I thought, I mean, all right, it's a little bit of bread, but I've had bread on this diet before. I've never put weight on. I think it's the salt in the deli meat. I actually think I'm retaining water from the salt in the deli meat. Anyway, uh, the measurements. So we started this whole thing, and by we, I guess I mean me, and then me telling you about it. Uh, Let's see. March 28th. I hate doing this. On March 28th, I weighed 233.4 pounds. Today, June 13th, April, May, June, not three months yet, just about, maybe another week, 213.2 pounds. So that's 20.2 pounds. But two days ago, I was 211.6. So 212.6 for, so I put like a pound and a half on with the sandwich and, you know, I don't know, whatever else, not going to the bathroom regularly. That's just a a little look into that. My BMI right now is 31.6. Wow, it started at 34.6. Body fat, 30.1, started at 35. This is interesting. My hydration continues to go up. Today, it was 50.4. I started at 47%. I still don't completely understand the connection between losing fat and hydration, but um, maybe I'll figure it out one day. Skeletal muscle from 42 
to 45.1. BMR, 1856 it began at, it's 1822 now. My fat-free body weight is 148.2, but it started at 151.8. Does that mean that without fat, I'd weigh 142 pounds? Is that what that means? Subcutaneous fat began at 30, is 26 now. Visceral fat began at 17, is 14 now. My muscle mass has dropped a little, which you expect with uh, dieting, with weight loss, excuse me. Started at 144 and is 140. So bone mass, 7.6 to 7.4. That's nominal. My protein is going up. I don't know how, I don't know how this scale knows this, but uh, 14.8 at the beginning, 16 now. And my metabolic age has dropped uh, still just one year from 58 to 57, which of course is concerning because next month I'll be 52, but maybe that will keep going down. All right, so those are the numbers. I'm gonna tell you a little something about hunger in a second, uh, but first let's let's uh, let's shoot this Wigovi, shall we? I just keep putting it in my belly and that seems to be fine, right? Yeah, what the hell, that's working. Hold on. I haven't said this in a while. Here we go, V. <laughs> Why is that not? Don't they make ads? You can have that for free. Here we go, V's genius. Here we go. Okay. Well, that was pretty easy. I'm just holding it in for an extra second or two. Because, you know, I'm used to doing that with insulin and needles. I like to get it all out. And we're done. So, I'm saving all the pens. I don't know why. They're in a little box here at my desk. Uh, hunger. Yesterday had been obviously six days since I had my last shot of Wegovi. And I have to admit, I was able to eat a sandwich that I would not be able to eat earlier in the week. What else do I want to talk about about food? Mm, oh, uh, when you get uh, constipated, the uh, slowdown throughout your entire system makes you feel, made me feel, um, a little more, I guess some people might call it nauseous, but just like your food's not going all the way down, like it's got nowhere to go. So what I've noticed is if you have that feeling, going to the bathroom can eliminate the feeling. Number two, not number one. Um, and you do have to be very careful about not eating too late in the day because I'll get acid reflux if my food's not digested before I go to sleep. So at this point now, in honesty, five or six o'clock in the afternoon is the last time I try to have solid food or something that's going to sit in my stomach uh, for, for a while because obviously the medication makes it stay there longer, slows digestion. Uh, last thing I want to tell you is that I went to the doctor on Saturday, a little follow-up for my Wegovy, and she was just like, wow, you look great. She said I looked younger. I, I, that was nice. Um, I was... Uh, two people have told me this week for the first time that I look like I've lost weight. One person said, did you change your hair? Um, and I don't think they were being polite. And one person just looked at me from across the parking lot and yelled, yo, skinny, what's going on? That was better. I enjoyed that. Thank you for that person. Uh, I am not skinny, by the way. But um, what I have figured out is that I don't think consciously, but I've lost 20 pounds now. And if you would have asked me, before I started doing this, how much weight do you need to lose? I would have said 20 pounds. And now I see myself and I think, oh, boy, that was either generous or a lie. Not sure which. But I do think that you can slowly start to just accept things, even visually or how you feel. Um, maybe you make excuses for them along the way. But I definitely need to lose more than 20 pounds for my own health. Like, forget how I look. I will tell you that I feel better. My back feels better. My feet feel better. My knees feel better. Um, generally speaking, I have good energy. I think a lot of this has to do with the decrease in mass that I'm just carrying around all the time. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think I'm going to button this one up and start a new one with the first injection of the next step up. Uh, so I'm going to go now but I'll put this up for you soon.
maybe this week even. Yeah, maybe I could do it on Thursday or Friday. At the very least on Monday. Uh, you don't care about this part. <laughs> this is just me thinking about my schedule now. Thank you so much for listening. I'll be back very soon with another episode of the Juice Box Podcast. This week, Ovi Workies. They should call it Worky. They should call it Work Ovi. Or some, I don't know what they should call it. But it really is amazing. I'm telling you. Like, I, two days ago, well, I'm sorry. I know I said I was done. Two days ago, I got up. I had a yogurt in the morning. I'm, I'm drink, uh, drinking. I'm eating uh, coconut milk yogurt, which is really good. Uh, I did not expect that to be good, but it was. It is. Um, and then it was like three in the afternoon. And I thought, oh, my God, I haven't eaten today. But I had no indication of it physically. Now, on Saturday, we decided to go visit some family. So we jumped in the car and we're going out the door. And I was like, I got to take a banana with me because I'm going to get hungry while we're there. And I grabbed a banana, went there, and it turned out my banana was too ripe. So when I started feeling like, oh, I should eat something, I was like, oh, this thing's nasty. And I put it down and I just did what I normally would have done. I'm like, I'll eat later. But like 20 minutes, a half an hour later, uh, I said to my brother-in-law, I'm like, I'm woozy. Like, do you have a banana in your house? Um, interesting. Like, I started getting, like, dizzy. Uh, banana fixed it, obviously. I ate a little something else. I had, like, a handful of something. I forget what it was. A hard pretzel or a cracker or something with a banana. Because, I mean, I was at someone else's house. I was just grabbing out of their, you know, closet. Anyway, uh, you got to remember to eat on this, which I, I feel like I should keep bringing up. All right, now I'm really going. See ya. Well, there's no one to thank because I was the only one on the podcast. So, well, anyway, thank me for coming on the podcast and being so open and honest about my Wegovi thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's probably too much. No, it's too late to go back. Thank you so much for listening. Please remember about the private Facebook group. Please remember that you can save 35% off your entire order at CozyEarth.com with the offer code JUICEBOX at checkout that you can get 10% off your first month of therapy at betterhelp.com forward slash juice box. And of course, you'll get five free travel packs and a year's supply of vitamin D all for free with your first order of AG1 from Athletic Greens when you use my link, athleticgreens.com forward slash juice box. I'll give you a little bonus for staying till the end. I'm putting this all together, recording these bumpers for you two days after I just recorded the last entry, and I'm back to my lowest weight ever. Tomorrow morning, with any luck, I'll see a new lower number.